Good evening, everybody. What's up, Lexi's Leukemia Warriors? This little girl over here is getting tired, but she wanted to share her favorite book with you tonight. And her favorite book is called My Port by Angus Olson. And a little bit about the author, Angus lives in Katoomba, NSW, Australia, with wife Rachel and daughters Holly and Jane. At just two years of age, Jane was diagnosed with rhabdomyosarcoma in 2016, achieving remission in 2017. Angus is a trained Disney artist who uses this experience to create resources for other children and their families facing childhood cancer. You can find more of his work by searching at I Draw Childhood Cancer. So this book is about a port which goes under your skin. And there he is. But there's also a book about a prosthetic eye. Um, my central line, so technically a port is considered a central line, but there's other forms of central line, like you might have a pick in your arm, um, but in this case, he's talking about a Hickman. So a Hickman is kind of similar to a port, it's what you'd use for chemo, but the difference between a Hickman and a port is a Hickman is actually attached on the outside and stays attached all the time. It still connects to your central vein there, but... It stays attached all the time, so it's a lot harder for bathing and stuff, to keep it clean and everything. So we're thankful that she has a port. Um, another book he's written is called It's Christmas Day, and then another yeah. book is about well, NG tubes you, for kids. Why, why, you, why you in the hospital? That's right, Christmas Day while you're in the hospital. You know what? You almost spent Thanksgiving in the hospital. Did you know that? Yeah. Luckily, we got out just in time. So what do you think? Should we share this book with everybody? Yeah. Okay. You have a port too. Do you want to show everybody where your port is? Yeah. See that little bump right there? But it's kind of different. That is Lexi's port, and you can actually see the little but bump where she's pointing. Different. Yeah. It is different. Okay. Let's start. I have a port. It looks like a little bump. It is very special and very important. My port is under my skin. It has a tube that goes to where my blood is. And that's what ports do. They go right to the blood vein that's connected to your heart. When it is time to use my port, a special cream and sticky goes on top. And if you've watched any of our previous videos, you know that I use a special numbing cream called Emla which is a mixture of lidocaine and prilocaine. And then our sticky is a square of glad press and seals. I don't mean when they, sometimes when they take it, but after they take the tube out, I get a prize. That's right, they take your tube out and you get to pick a prize. I don't like it when the sticky has to come off to use my port. The nurse says I am very brave. And that's what Lexi was talking about when she's all done and they take the port off, she gets to pick a prize. The needle looks like a butterfly. My port can be used to check my blood. My port can be used to give my body a drink. So there it is. Lexi gets her labs checked from her port all the time. That's how they do it when she's inpatient especially. And this is when she needs to get fluids maybe, she's dehydrated. They'll give her a bolus of saline. My port can be used to give my body some medicine. My port can be used to give my body some blood. 
So Lexi gets her chemotherapy through her port. They hook it up and deliver the medicine right through it. And sometimes if she needs a blood or platelet transfusion, they hook it right up to her port and that's how she gets everything. When my port is not being used, I can have a bath or go for a swim. I have a port. It is very special and very important. So Lexi is allowed to have a bath or go swimming as long as it's been 24 hours since she's been accessed. Same with LPs. And she pretty much can do whatever she wants. That's right. So pretty much Lexi can do anything. Um, we just gotta be careful that she doesn't bump it or knock into it. So definitely if she were into sports or something, that would be a conversation to have with our team about what she can and can't do. But for the most part, kids with ports are just like anybody else. They just have that little bump that helps get them medicine. And Lexi's port will stay in past her treatment. She finishes in October and her port will come out six months post-treatment as long as everything's going well post-treatment and they don't see any concerning issues on her labs, like relapse or anything, then she will have surgery to remove her port. And then she will not have to worry about fever protocol, um, going to the ER every time she has a fever. That will be so much nicer that we can just treat her like a normal kid who gets a fever at home and we don't have to rush to the hospital. Yeah. So, do you like this book? Because that little boy is just like you, isn't he? Yeah. So, should we tell everybody good night? Yeah. All right. Good night.